Russia has vetoed a United Nations resolution that would have declared tomorrow's referendum in Crimea invalid. The veto came just hours after Ukrainian armed forces had been scrambled to repel a Russian assault on a spit of land adjacent to Crimea. The Ukrainian government accused Kremlin agents of sparking violence in which three people were killed in cities in the east of the country. Our international editor, Lindsay Hilson, is in the Crimean capital, Simferopol. Um, Lindsay, I understand, first of all, there's been an incident in your hotel. Yes, about 40 minutes ago, Jackie, about 30 armed, masked men burst in through the reception and went up in the lifts. Now, I was in my room at the time. When I heard about it, I came down. I saw about 10 of those men. I understand that some of them are still on one of the floors. They are keeping some people in their rooms. One person I know tried to get out and was pushed back at gunpoint. Now, obviously, there's a lot of journalists in the hotel. People were intrigued. Um, we were trying to find out what was going on. Then a man who said that he was from the Ministry of the Interior said there was nothing to worry about. This was just a training exercise, a planned training exercise. Well, I have to tell you, it didn't look like that. The Hotel Moscow, it's a place where, well, in the last few days, I've seen a lot of uh, heavy set men in leather jackets with bodyguards. And this place does have a reputation for having organized crime. The new prime minister here, his uh, nickname is the Goblin. He is alleged to have links with organized crime, which he denies. But I think that what this incident shows is that there's a great concern now that those, that kind of incident may become more common. There may be more insecurity. We don't know if those armed masked men were trying to get a particular person or what it was. All I know at the moment is that they're still in my hotel. And there's evidence also of something of an escalation all round today, isn't there? Yes, the Ukrainian Defence Ministry said that earlier today, four helicopter gunships with 80 Russian soldiers and various armoured personnel carriers went to a place called Kherson. Now, Kherson is not inside you, uh, Crimea, it's just outside Crimea. And that was why there was a particular concern about that, that it might be an escalation. Again, it's not clear whether they're still there or whether they were repulsed. Yesterday, there were demonstrations at a place called Kharkiv, which is in the east of Ukraine. Two people were killed. They are said to be pro-Russian demonstrators. And today, the Russian foreign ministry said that it might need to intervene to protect civilians, to protect Russian speakers. And there is a fear here that that may be a reason the Russians use for more incursions into Ukraine. Lindsay, thank you very much for joining us.